Brian Lee with 318.5 kilos for his final pull, another American record. And Bill, how close is this get us to the world record? I believe this will be three kilos above the world record total right now. Now, of course, this is the national level. It would be unofficial, but you know all of the 66ers of the world are gonna hear about this performance should he hit this. Let's be honest, they're going to hear about this performance regardless. <laughs> Absolutely. What a monster pull in the 66 kilo class. And again, he Biggest like deadlift. I believe this would be an unofficial deadlift world record, as well as total world record. That I don't know. But don't I, don't I have that in so. front of me, but if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Smile. Nailed it. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. And Brian Lee sends a message to the world. He's coming for it all in Malta. Brian Lee, even though he competes within the Open Division at age 23, he's technically a junior athlete, which makes his total of 713.5 kilograms, even more impressive. His total of 713.5 kilos is 1.93% above last year's highest first quarter of 700 kilos, which is an individual total upward progression of 4.09% in comparison to Brian's 2022 first quarter total of 685 kilos. Also, Brian's current PR total is 34.76% above the 10-year senior upper weight class, median or average of 529.4 kilos. If the median absolute deviation throughout a decade period is considered. Furthermore, if further comparisons were undertaken between the athlete and current top senior athlete, such as Daniel Clements, whose highest total as a junior athlete stood at 673 kilos, which is essentially 6.08% below Brian's current total, with an additional average junior total of 637.63 kilos. In stark contrast, the Bryans 670.25 kilos average total. Bryans year on year rate of progression based upon total is currently 3.91% which is 1.94% above the top 9 66 to 67.5 kilos athletes of all time average year on year progressions if compared to prior and current senior athletes. Based purely on technicality, 19-year-old Austin, who would be considered a sub-junior or teen athlete, a total of 675 kilos, specifically for his age, places him 0.75% above the former ice total of 670 kilos previously held by Luke McKean. Even though his total of 675 kilos is 5.70% below Brian's total, Austin is nonetheless 27.48% above the 10-year upper senior weight class, median or average of 529 kilos. If the median absolute deviation throughout a decade period is yet again considered. Austin is currently 2.95% above the average top 10 juniors total, which is based upon each individual highest recorded junior total for each year throughout a 10-year period, which stands 
at 665.65 kilos. Francis Junis athlete, Andre, his position at number 3 with the third highest total of 640 kilos for the first quarter of the year. Competing within the 74 kilos weight class between 2021 and 2022, comparatively, a 640 kilos total within the weight classes is slightly below the 10 year juniors average with a percentile of negative 2.45%, but is 20.87% above the 10-year upper senior weight class, median or average of 529 kilos. If once again, the median absolute deviation is applied. Historically, prior athletes who must total 640 kilos within the juniors division such as Charles Okapoko, whom in 2015 had both a juniors and sub juniors total of 640 kilos, would later progress to becoming a two times IPF Classic World Champion both in 2018 and 2019.